What's going on guys? It's Caleb and I'm back with another video. So I'm finally back in my home studio and I'm able to bring some more content to you guys that's a little more usual than the last video we did out in California. So you guys seem to really like my last sketch to Vector. It's doing really good. I keep checking those analytics. So I decided let's go ahead and let's do another sketch to Vector video. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our sketchbook and we're going to jump over to the other desk and we're going to get started. So let's go. All right, let's jump into this illustration. So I got my sketchbook out. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Just flip into a new page. I was thinking maybe let's do some food because the last food illustration video I did did really well. But I also kind of wanted to do some kind of like technology or something. So I was thinking, what I what if I just combined the both of them? And so that's what I did. So I decided to do a toaster with some toast coming out of the top. So I started with the illustration. I knew it was just going to be from the side view. So I had to do the side view of the toaster and then wanted to have the toast popping out and I knew I was gonna have to do some kind of like action lines or something to show that the toast was popping out at the top. There's, there's really not a lot to a toaster so that's kind of why I wanted to bring it to you guys to show you how simple these shapes could come together and make an object, um, like an image or something like that. So this was a good example just to bring to you guys and show you um, what I was doing. So after I got the illustration done or the sketch done on my sketchbook, I took a picture with my iPhone and I brought it into Adobe Illustrator. Once I put it in there, just drop that opacity down a little bit and it makes it a lot easier to trace. So that's what I'm doing right here is I'm tracing the toaster that I drew. I'm um, just using the pen tool um, and also some shapes. So I use a square and then rounded the corners off. And that makes for a quick process of uh, turning those lines that you drew into uh, strokes, vector strokes. So once I got the the shapes done I came back and I took I copied and pasted the layer on top so I could get the stroke and I could cut uh, some lines into it the reason I do that is really just stylistic there's no there's no like real reason why you should or shouldn't do that that's just an opinion thing I think it looks good I don't do it for all my pieces but I did do it on this one so once I got the shape all drawn and everything I go back through and I start adding highlights and shadows um, so you see on the bottom right that's a shadow and on the top left that's a highlight and so what that does it gives you like that bevel feel of the toaster because you know a lot of toasters are kind of like rounded on the sides and the shadows uh, help with that and then the little dots you see those are just for like again stylistic purposes um, so I got the top the toast coming out of the top I was thinking why not give him a face um, I end up getting rid of the eyes and the mouth because that's not really the vibe I was going for um, but you could definitely turn this into like a cartoon illustration or something like that um, with just a simple two square or two circles and a square for the mouth so unlike what I did on the sketch I wanted to do two pieces of toast um, I thought it helped the composition and usually when you're toasting things you're gonna put two piece, slices of bread in there so I went back through and I added to uh, another slice. So right here, these are just lines that I made and I changed the width of them um, and the endpoints. And that was to give me that impression that the toast is popping up. Those are just like action lines. Um, it helps the movement of the piece, gives it more, um, more action. So I wasn't really thrilled with the uh, shadows and highlights that I did earlier. So I went back through um, and I just created lines and uh, cut them up, dropped the opacity a little bit, and that's what I did instead of the original shadow that I had. And so this is something that I usually don't do right here. I added some text on top of the toaster image. Um, I get rid of it. I wasn't I wasn't thrilled with it, um, but it's definitely something you can do if that's if that's the look you're going for, especially if you're doing like so you're doing like a Coke can um, or something you know like branded. There's no reason why you can't put some text on top of it um, but I wanted to keep it more simple more generic so I go ahead and I'll, I'll get rid of that text at the end so right here this is adding some depth so that's a loaf of bread right here and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw together a coffee mug so I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna drop the opacity down on them because they're supposed to symbolize that the toasters in the foreground and these are in the background and it really just gives it depth it brings the toaster to the front it shows you that that's our main focus in the composition um, and it really is just fun for the eye. It keeps your eyes circling and moving around the piece. And then finally, we're going to add a stick of butter because if you don't put butter on your toast, you're weird. <laughs> just kidding. You're not weird, but I mean, butter toast, that's that's an industry staple. So that's why um, we're throwing some, some butter on there. 
Yeah, guys, and that's pretty much where I leave it right here. Well, guys, that's the final piece. I hope you like how this came out, and I hope it gives you some inspiration on maybe creating your own piece or maybe even your own toaster. If you guys want this file to modify it or just have it as a background or something, I'll have it in my Discord free. So go ahead and pick that up. There it is, guys. That's all I got for you today. If you like this video, make sure to hit a thumbs up for me. And if you want to see content like this in the future, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to see content like this now, you can just go back to my older videos. I've got a ton of illustrations, rebrands, logo designs. Go check it out. If you guys want to get a hold of me, you can join my Discord. I'll have that link below. That's a great place for us to chat and talk design. Well, guys, I appreciate you being here. Until the next time, peace.